As long as you can breathe from your emergency oxygen bottle, ascend slowly. The full pressure suit gives you enough positive buoyancy to ascend at a safe rate from most escape depths. With this suit, don't inflate your life jacket until you have surfaced. On the other hand, if you're wearing a summer flight suit, you may have negative buoyancy. Then an inflated life jacket helps you ascend. Regardless of which suit you are wearing, the most important thing to remember while ascending is to exhale continuously all the way to the surface. Your natural instinct is to hold your breath, but this can be a fast way to turn an otherwise perfect escape into sudden death through lung rupture. Here's why. Your emergency oxygen supply will feed you oxygen in quantity sufficient to maintain pressure within the lungs equal to water pressure at the depth to which you descend. If you surface without properly reducing lung pressure, your lungs will inflate abnormally. If the internal pressure is not relieved as you ascend, any of the following conditions may occur. Mediastinal emphysema, where air escapes from the bronchus into the space between the lungs. Air embolism, where an air bubble forced into the bloodstream reaches the heart and ultimately blocks circulation to the brain. And pneumothorax, where air escapes from the lung into the surrounding cavity, allowing the lung to collapse. Any of these could cause death. Now, let's go through a complete underwater escape through manual egress. If this looks easy, remember, this is a test tank. The water is clear and warm, and the test pilot has not been subjected to impact shock. 